Good afternoon and welcome to Options 2021. This brief PowerPoint will talk you through the options process for your current child in Year 8. Please follow the PowerPoint and ask any questions you may have afterwards. You will note that all students need to follow the compulsory curriculum. The compulsory curriculum is made of GCSE English Language and Literature, GCSE Maths, GCSE Science, citizenship and a PE qualification that the student can choose in conjunction with their PE teacher. These subjects all students must study. As you're aware, qualifications are changing. We have new GCSEs for 2024. All GCSE subjects will be on a scale of nine to one. All students are required to gain eight good qualifications there are two pathways that your child can follow when they enter year 10. This is known as Progress 8 and EBAC. The current flowchart will help you understand your five-year learning experience. You will realise that in current year 7 and 8, your child is currently studying Key Stage 3. This continues into year 9, where students get to select two subjects to study in conjunction with history, geography, languages, and their current compulsory curriculum. When students enter year 10, they will begin their GCSE and you will have an option to reduce your options from five to three options. Inside the pack that you received last week, you will have an options booklet and an options form. Please read both carefully and discuss this with your child. This will help you identify the subjects you would like to choose for the continuation of Key Stage 3 in Year 9. Unfortunately, due to lockdown, you will not be able to complete this form and return this to us. However, we will make this form live in your child's Google Classroom and your child can complete this and return this to us by Wednesday the 24th of February. Please have a look at the five options and select an option and a reserve choice. Just a reminder, from the table below, you must pick history, geography and a language of your choice. The remaining two options can be two subjects that your child is interested in. You must also select if your child would like to follow P, BTEC Sport or GCSE or if they would like to follow the dance qualification. A small explanation for you regarding Progress 8. Colleges are now looking for students who have eight good qualifications, and this is known as the Progress 8 pathway. If you have a look at the diagram, you can see that in order to gain eight good qualifications, students must study maths, English, combined science, which gives you two qualifications in science. They must study a history, geography, or a language, or computer science, and then they're allowed two free picks, out of which one will be PE and citizenship. If in year 10 you would like to follow the slightly more academic EBAC pathway, options 1 to 5 are exactly the same. You must study a history or a geography and you must study a language. You get one free pick and the other subject is PE or citizenship. You can find more, op more information in your options booklet. Please encourage your child to speak to their teacher via Google Classrooms. Every lesson is, has live tutoring so students can ask their teachers any questions they may have at any times. Feel free to co communicate with your teachers through emails. Have a look at your recent progress report that you were sent for in January. If you have any further questions, please speak to Mrs. Conrad, Mrs. Alley or Mr. Smith. Hello Year 8 and a warm welcome of course to parents and carers. I am Mr. Smith, Assistant Head Teacher in Charge of Behaviour and Academic Progress. We were having such a good academic year before this latest lockdown. Year 8 not only had the best attendance and the most reward points in the whole school, they also had the best behaviour. All of the staff are missing you a great deal and we hope to see you back again in school soon. More information is available in your options booklet sent home last week. Live lessons have also recently started, so please speak to teachers for more subject specific information. Also sent home was your latest, latest pro progress report. Here you will be able to see which subjects you are currently performing well in. You can also speak to Mrs Conroy, Mrs Alley and myself, Mr Smith. Please remember that these are your 
lessons and subjects for the next three years that you will be studying. These directly link to your exam results, your future college course or apprenticeship, and ultimately your future. If you have any specific careers in mind, for example, a sports career, then you should be choosing a PE qualification. If you are an aspiring actor, then of course drama will be one of your option choices. It will be no surprise for you to hear that your behaviour and attitude to learning can work against you when it comes to getting your preferred option choice. Missed homework or poor attendance once we are back in school can potentially limit your options. In terms of what to do next, please don't panic is the first thing I will say. Pupils can speak with staff or advice and guidance via Google Classroom, but please remain calm and grounded. We want you to care, but we don't want you to stress. School will let you know what subjects you will be studying in June of this year. Now, please ask that you let us know of any email addresses or contact number changes. This is really important. It's gone on for two years that you provided your contact details way back in year six. So please ensure we have the latest contact information. So finally, find the happy medium, realising that this is an important time, but please don't stress. Take your time and contact your teachers. Staffing levels are decided on the option choices students make, for example, how many history or technology teachers we have in the building. Once you have chosen, option changes very rarely happen because sometimes there simply isn't anywhere to move you to because classrooms are full. Some option subjects have maximum numbers of students for health and safety reasons. On this slide, you'll see listed all of the key dates in the options process, starting at the very top all the way to the end of the process at, at the bottom. And finally, the next key date for your diary is Wednesday the 24th of February. This is the deadline for the Google form to be completed. Thank you for listening. I hope this presentation has gone some way into answering the questions you may have had. Of course, in normal times, this would have been done face to face in school. We look forward to welcoming you back, Year 8, in the very near future.